Adding a picture object to the layout area of a page is similar to adding a text object. Notice that on the standard toolbar, we have the uh, text tool, but right next to that, we also have the picture tool. And uh, there's the pop out, the fly out uh, uh, balloon help for that. If I click on that speed button, I can then click anywhere within the layout area of the page and immediately what's going to come up is the area of the assets folder remember we store all our work on our thumb drive in our project folder in the assets folder well in that assets folder i happen to have two graphics already and these will be previewed to the right here's the built with uh, net objects fusion self-promotional uh, button object and here is a self-portrait of myself with my name in Chinese. So I'm going to select that object and click open. Now it's stating to me that there's already an asset uh, uh, in my assets folder of that name. It'll make a copy of it or allow you to use the original. I'll use the original. Just click OK on that. Now note that the picture has been embedded in this case within the text box because that's uh, what I had click selected. Now along with this object Anytime you click on an object, here's the text box. Notice that the properties palette refers to the text properties. But if I click on the image itself, now this changes to the pic picture properties uh, palette. And the second speed button in from that is the align uh, tool. And I can do uh, several things. I can left align my picture. I can center it. I can right alignment, align it. But what I'd actually like to do within this text box is to right wrap the picture so that it will be embedded within the, the text but the text will flow around it. Now I can even increase or decrease the space around the object by clicking on the horizontal and vertical space roll bars. But uh, that's basically it. Now another thing that you should note, let's say that I were to put this picture in the layout area but overlapping the uh, text object. Notice that there's an exclamation point now. And if I move this down a little bit, I'll move it into the layout area. But notice that I get an exclamation mark because it's overlapping an object. Whenever you see the exclamation mark, that's a, an undesirable effect. So I'm going to undo everything I just did for demonstration purposes. I'm going to leave the picture embedded within the text box Again, click on the text box first, and then click on where you want to embed the graphic. Uh, one final po point also, just as far as the aesthetics are concerned, we're looking to avoid what's known as ransom note syndrome. And right now, the text box is aligned just below the top border for the uh, master border area, which is currently set at 62. So I'm going to click on that text uh, object container and I'm going to hit the up arrow key. Note that when I tap the up arrow key, it stops at the topmost uh, border. And if I click to the left, the left arrow key, I stop at the right margin. I would like to contain this object within the bounds of the layout area so that when we flip through the pages on our site, they have a uniform layout and they don't flash and dance around on the page. So that's an important consideration. And my convention is I always align objects along the left border and the top border, and then I work from there on down.